if you're trying to learn a new skill and make a career change, then you're probably making the same mistake that a lot of people make when studying a new subject, especially as working adults. And that mistake is most people don't prioritize learning that new skill in their life. Without them even realizing it, they are making it the very last priority in their day. Just for example, most adults work a typical nine to five kind of schedule. So when they get home, their first few hours are spent just decompressing, running errands, attending to the family and trying to figure out dinner, etc., etc. And after all that said and done, that's when they now want to study. So you see, studying that new skill is now the last thing on their schedule that they do at the very end of the day when they have little to no energy left and their brain is exhausted and their body is tired and all they really want to do is just sleep at this point. And that's the cycle that most people live in, right? They wake up every morning and spend their very best effort when their brain is the most focused and when they have plenty of energy, they spend that time at their job and leave whatever is left over at the end of the day to try to improve their own life. And that's not a winning strategy. And look, I know it can be hard to break out of this cycle because of a lot of factors, right? But it's still worth having this conversation because if you are really serious about leaving your dead end job and making a career change to better your situation so you can do better for yourself, for your family, then you're gonna have to make some really tough choices and changes and sacrifices in life. There's no way around that, right? Like nothing good comes easy in life. So if you are gonna be working hard, you might as well make it effective. And the only way to do that is to prioritize your life and essentially prioritize you. So instead of giving your best effort to a job that you're trying to leave, Commit some of that time to learning the skill or doing the work that you need to do to give yourself the chance to make that change in your life. So that's why I recommend that you try and go to bed at least an hour or two earlier so you can wake up an hour or two earlier and commit the best part of your day when your brain is alert and fresh and your body isn't tired. Commit some of that time to you and your future. So for some people, that might mean waking up early in the morning to work on their goals or spending more time on the weekends, not going out as much. Whatever it is, the point of this conversation is to make sure that you really sit down and reflect and ask yourself, am I prioritizing my goals or am I working on them with whatever is left over at the end of the day? And if I am, how can I shift my priorities around? So. If you're new here, my name is TJ and I'm a self-taught software engineer that teaches beginners how to code and mentors developers on their coding journey. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and insights like this. And make sure you like this video and make sure to comment your thoughts down below to let me know what you think.